What's up fam? So in this video, I'm gonna be going over why I decided to become paper hands and sell all my safe moon. Ultimately, it comes down to it's my own money and I get to dictate where I think it's gonna grow the best. And for me, I just don't feel that safe moon is gonna have the best growth for my portfolio. But I'm gonna go more into detail at the end of this video, what I actually invested in and how that's going. So remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video and ring that notification bell so you get up to date with all my time sensitive material. But first, I'm gonna just talk about how the community, I mean, they have a huge community. They have 5,000 people online right now, 232 astronauts. They have 2 million holders. That's insane. And they just have a lot going on for them. And that's also the reason why I decided to pull out. If you decide, if you look at the reasons why, and I'll tell you here in a moment, they do have a lot going on for them. They have, you know, their uh, their wallet that they're uh, coming out with, so they can um, pretty much hold all their coins instead of a trust wallet or anything like that. They have their, and this is a presentation of it. Um, their own app it shows what the current market price, price is, um, what, uh, how to buy it, everything like that. So it's, it has a lot going on for it. Um, it's user friendly. Um, they have Diplo, who is a huge, uh, has a huge following, posting videos and showing Safe Moon. So they have a lot of people talking about its actual adoption. Um, I mean, in a little bit, I'm going to be going over a huge detail of what they're trying to do and how amazing that looks. They have 2 million holders in two months, which is the fastest growing uh, cryptocurrency on the market, which is just amazing if you think about it. 2, 000, 2 million holders, that's quite amazing. Uh, they have billboards going up, their communities. Uh, raising funds to create an exchange, to post on the NASDAQ, to put up banners and uh, billboards all over the world. It's, they have a great community. But that's also why I think I decided to become Paper Hands is because, I mean, if you look at right here, their market cap is almost three, uh, three billion, which is pretty great. I mean, it's it's everything's down obviously but um they're 48 on uh, coin gecko but they're not even listed on coin market cap which uh if you look here they're not even in the top anything so i don't know where they are in here um i don't know why they're not listed but that's that's just surprising um also it's uh it's been pretty stagnant i mean it go, has these jumps but if you look at the dates i mean Diplo, like in March, or sorry, in May, they've had their biggest announcements. They've had an announcement for their wallets. They've had an announcement from Diplo. They've had a billboards going up. They have an announcement called Project Phoenix, and I'll get that in, in a second. But if you look, it's just consistently going down. Even though the whole market is going down, you would think that with all of this talk, all these announcements, it would stabilize, and it's not. And that puts me at, puts me uneasy. And so if you look at their roadmap, I mean, this was posted uh, on May 16th and they are gonna become the official currency of Gambia. Uh, I, I guess that's what it's, how it's said. They had the ambassador on their M A uh, AMM and AMA rather. And it just, I mean, their biggest announcements have been in May and it's just been tanking. And even though the whole market is tanking, I would think that they would at least be stable. And if they're not, then um, to me, I think there's other projects to invest in. Uh, not only that, but if we just look at the sheer numbers of let's say market cap right here, to go from eight, four, eight, two, they would need to be at like a top 20 coin. So let's see here, that's almost $3 billion. To even take off one zero, they would need to be in the top 20, just below the top 20. And that's just to double in, in price. And there are so many coins that have more potential. I mean, if we just look at PancakeSwap, I can put my money into pools 
and get 142% uh, APR, uh, APY by just holding. And you can't really get that with Safe Moon. Not only that, but the, the, the fees, that, not the fees, but every time someone sells and you get a, a small percentage, it doesn't raise enough. And I think that that was kind of a misconception. And so, I mean, I feel that I could get a better return investing in, say, a DeFi project than uh, actually investing in SafeMoon. So if it has to be in the top 20 to even double, uh, I find that there's way better projects out there. I mean, to even be in the top 10, they'd be in the top 10 to 3x, and they're talking about going to the moon um, to get to 0.001, they're gonna to have to be way bigger than Bitcoin, way bigger than Ethereum and Tether. Like they're never gonna hit that. So um, I find that if I invest in DeFi projects, ultimately it's gonna be better for me. I mean, if you look at just the, the, the amount of press and the community, the amount of it growing as exponentially as it has been, but not being able to grow as a crypto in a sense of just the price point it just consistently goes down kind of puts me uneasy because if they have this much press and these many many holders i would think the price would be going skyrocketing but it's not and uh once the hype kind of dies down and they can't get uh the the community to purchase more um banners or um, billboards or the NASDAQ or anything like that, what is the price going to do? Because ultimately, as the price grows, is based on how many transactions are going on. And uh, you can just see the volume is slowly dying in the biggest months, in the biggest month of how much push they have been going through. So for me, I, I find that it's, it's really, it's not really going to, uh, do well in the long term but that's just uh, my own personal opinion um, the trading volume is way down uh, the all-time high is way down and so um, for me I just think that there are better projects if you look at pancake bunny I mean you can get you can invest here and get 300 uh, percent almost 200 percent by holding cake so this seems like a safer bet and it doesn't have as much hype or uh, two million holders like the other ones, your, your money's gonna go further. I mean, just in a matter of uh, three seconds, the price went up $2. So um, that's my thoughts. Uh, I decided to become paper hands and sell all my safe moon and uh, jump into uh, Bunny. I actually bought uh, a few Bunny and I actually bought a few of cake my goal with cake is to get it so that it is paying me out one cake a day and that's ultimately what uh, i'm shooting for and so now i have about uh in eight hours i'll probably be around 0.9 cake a day so that's paying me right now 17 dollars. but um, as the price of cake increases uh my whole percentage of growth or of my return is gonna be so much higher. And this is just holding long-term, kind of like what um, SafeMoon preaches about holding or hodling and ultimately just being a holder. So for me, uh, I can just hold cake or hodl cake and make a uh, great return of passive income without having to rely on hype and having without having to rely on uh, big celebrities or B, C, D class celebrities hyping up the, the safe moon train, I can just have it grow passively. Um, and as you can see, it just consistently grows uh, right here. As we talk, um, my, my cake is growing um, kind of like safe moon. I don't need to have people sell or anything like that. My APY goes up, my cake goes up, and I'm able to uh, make those passive gains. So, until next time, guys, peace.